letter from the gantry. Well, thanks, Neil. Um, as I picked up the microphone to commentate on the Champions League tie between Benfica and Atletico Madrid, I would never have thought that my final words on that particular evening would be, there he is, Harry Potter, and a wizard result for Benfica. Well, looking back, there had been a clue. As the home players had a pre-match stroll on the pitch at the Estadio da Luz, I did spot that one of them was wearing glasses. Spectacles off the field, spectacular on it. Kerim Aktokolo. Manchester United fans might remember the name. He scored home and away against United for Galatasaray in the Champions League last season. With glasses off, but obviously very clear vision on, he whipped in the opening Benfica goal against Atleti. It was his latest magical moment for his new club. A third goal to go with three assists after a transfer which was only completed with 15 minutes to spare right at the end of the summer window. At half-time, I learnt of the nickname. Football is actually lucky to have him. When he was a baby, he was lost in the rubble following a powerful earthquake in Izmir. His grandfather found him after a frantic search. Now he's blooming at Benfica, under the guidance of Bruno Large, who wasn't even at the club when he agreed to sign. The Lisbon outfit were in the process of sacking their German coach, Roger Schmidt. The former Wolves boss came in a few days later. Large has made a fantastic start. Five games, five wins, two of them in the Champions League, and Actocolo scored in both. The victories have produced 18 goals, six from set pieces. Aerially, they're very strong. They swamped the normally resilient, resourceful Atletico Madrid 4-0. By the high standards of their combative coach, Diego Simeone, the Spanish giants looked underprepared and adversely affected by the protracted Madrid derby three days earlier. Large had one full season at Molyneux. Wolves finished 10th but a poor run of results at the end of that campaign, allied to a slow start to the next, saw him sent packing after 16 months. Since then, Julian Lopetegui has come and gone, and Wolves of today go into the October international break, bottom of the Premier League, with one point from seven games. And it won't have gone unnoticed in the black country that Lopetegui's current club, West Ham, posted a big win over Ipswich. At the same stage in this season, Nottingham Forest are in the top half, with the assured touch of Nuno Espirito Santo, who preceded both Large and Lopetegui at Molyneux, and was the coach, if you remember, who steered Wolves back into the Premier League in 2018. Only seven of the 36 clubs in the restructured Champions League won their opening two games, and Benfica are among them, with a goal difference of plus five. Only Borussia Dortmund have bettered that. Aston Villa and Liverpool, of course, are amongst those fast starters. When Kerem Aktokolu arrived in Portugal, the Benfica fans had no faith in the team and were very influential in the dismissal of the previous coach. But emotions change very quickly amongst supporters in that lovely country. They have an expression which roughly translates as going from 8 to 80 in the blink of an eye. They now believe that they're on top of the world. Or to put it another way, with the wizardry of their Harry Potter and his chums, Benfica are living it large. <laughs> 